What's up guys, welcome to Dyna Demos, I'm Rod. I'm Lego. And today we're going to be installing this Jag oil cooler on my 2016 Dyna Lowrider S. Yeah, and I just wanted to give a quick shout out to Diesel Oil Guy for uh, sending us this V-Twin oil change kit. And if you guys are interested in this kit, it comes with four quarts of engine oil and it comes with either a chrome oil filter or a black oil filter. So stay tuned for the details on this oil change kit. And uh, make sure, as always, you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. Alright guys, so we got this Jag oil cooler. Um, I ordered this from Dennis and Kirk. And uh, I got the fan assisted one, so I think the website says if uh, your oil gets hotter than like 205 degrees, then the electronic fan or electric fan will kick on and uh, help cool down the oil. And that's tied into the brake light, which we're gonna go over all this stuff later. But uh, the reason, the biggest reason I'm getting this is because um, I'm actually moving to like the DC area. If anybody's ever been there, they know like between Richmond and Baltimore, it's like the most hectic traffic in the country and you can't split lanes. So um, I really don't want to mess up my bike. So I thought I'd make a little investment into this thing. So uh, we're going to put it on. All right guys, so here it is. All right comes with instructions comes with a rubber hose and then comes looks like a harness some clamps and then the radiator with the fan on it um, I always wondered like how big these things were um, when I ordered it because I feel like the close-up pictures look a lot bigger than they are and then on the website they have like a little side picture but as you can see like compared to my hand it's upside down all right it's not very big it's just a little thing so uh, like I said this is the frame mounted one so we're gonna mount it right here on my frame they also make one that mounts right down here um, I think that, personally, I think that looks a little better, but the reason I didn't go with that one is because, uh, as we've shown earlier in our videos, uh, I'm running the True Track, and I just wasn't quite sure how it was all gonna tuck up in there. And as Lego says, you know, you got a lot of flare going on right there, so I didn't wanna like put this, or try to uh, uh, modify anything to fit over the True Track. So I just went with the frame mounted one and uh, we're gonna get into it. All right guys, so the first step um, that we're gonna do is we need to figure out what kind of clamps need to go on the frame. So it comes with three different sizes because this is kind of like a, oops, this kind of like a universal um, mount. So we opened up, we opened up one of the clamps we got on our first try. So you gotta figure out where you wanna put it at. All right, we're gonna put it right here like this. All right, and then we're gonna tuck the clutch cable in right here, but um, you want it about 90 degrees out, so then as you're riding down the road, all right, air is hitting the, the radiator, and of course, like oil's inside of it, so it's cooling it down. And then the fan comes into play when you're stopped and there's no air coming into the radiator. It's gonna suck air in to the radiator to cool down that oil. All right guys, so these were the clamps that we used. Uh, we put the bolt in from the front side because if we uh, took our Allen wrench and tried to get into it like this, it would have been really freaking hard. So uh, we got the angle that we think we like so that the uh, air will come in through the radiator and cool the oil. So we're gonna move on to the next step. All right guys, so we got the oil filter uh, prepped for removal so we don't make a mess and we're gonna put the oil filter adapter on but first we got to put on this offset after we get it all off so we're going to do that right now and uh, then we're going to do that all right guys so uh what we're going to do now is take off this offset right here and then we're going to install this one obviously with the loctite facing inboard. All right guys, so this is the adapter 
The instructions tell you to loosen these five screws, all right, separate it, and then with the rubber O-ring, or rubber packing, whatever you want to call it, put this up against the filter housing, and then put this provided nut on finger tight onto the threads that we just installed. So we're gonna do that right now. And don't put oil on this O-ring, so it's not to. All right guys, so we got the uh, inside part of the adapter on. The outside, you have to put this anti-rotation bracket right here. For a dyna, it's orientated like that. Yep, and then uh, it shows you for a sports turn a soft tail where you would put it. So what it tells you to do is put it on here and then turn the adapter until it contacts the case. Well, we're not gonna quite put it against the case because if you, obviously if you're watching our channel, you own a Harley and you know that this thing is gonna vibrate a lot. Harleys vibrate a lot. So we don't want this bracket to be digging into the case. So we're gonna leave just a small amount of room, like maybe a quarter inch or less of room. So next thing we gotta do, we got it to where we want it. We have to uh, tighten this down and then we'll install the outside of the adapter. All right, so we have the adapter and then everything right here, all these that we tighten down, this is the oil fan switch. Um, we put Teflon tape on all the threads and then you finger tighten them and then two to two and a half turns past finger tight uh, is what you want all these adapters and fittings to be. So now that we've done that, we're gonna install the front half of the adapter to the back half of the adapter using those uh, Allen key bolts. So we're gonna do that now. Uh, to install the front half of the adapter to the back half of the, the adapter, you wanna tighten down all five of the Allen key bolts uh, evenly. And then once it's against the uh, back side, what you wanna do is change to the uh, a star pattern or um, crisscross. crisscross. So you would do, you would start here, you skip a bolt, go to the next one, 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 and you keep doing that until it's all the way tightened down. And uh, that's how you do that. All right, guys, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut the uh, hose. And it says that this is non-directional, so what that means is like, uh, not one is an inlet, not one is an outlet. It doesn't matter uh, whether the front goes to either this side or this side. But what we're gonna do is front to the closest side and then aft to the uh, farther side. And we're just gonna cut some slack. And also you don't want sharp bends in this because when it gets hot, it could collapse inside if you got a sharp bend and then that's gonna restrict uh, oil flow. So we're just gonna put it up to it like a rough cut. And then we're just gonna cut down right here, make sure nothing's rubbing and we'll probably cut it right about there. All right guys, so here's the first cut hose. So what I did was I installed the uh, the little clamp onto the end that I'm gonna tighten down first. Um, and then it's easier if you apply a little bit of oil to the uh, fittings and then it just slides on really easy. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to tighten this down. All right guys, so we got the clamps on and the hoses on. And they're tight, so now we don't got any crazy bends in it, as you see here. So now we are going to do the wiring. All right, we just installed all the electrical connections for the uh, JAG oil cooler. Um, so first things first, um, when, you're gonna, when you're gonna set this up, uh, you need to find out if your bike is canvas or not. So my understanding of canvas, it's the way the electrical system talks to like all the accessories. Uh, newer, newer year model Dynas have it, uh, newer year Harleys have it, right? So I'm not a huge expert on it. So uh, if you are, go ahead and explain it to us and we'd appreciate it. So check it out. You have a six pin connector right here for your canvas uh, models. And uh, what I did is I connected the connection right here. We routed the wire to the bottom of the frame, went all the way underneath, and then it went to the uh, fan switch uh, on the bottom of the, uh, the bottom of the adapter. Now it doesn't, matter, it doesn't matter whether you connect it to the front or aft, it doesn't matter. Um, either one you go with. Okay, the next thing, from the fan, the same thing, you just uh, connect this connector right here. And then the positive side, you just go to the same, you go to the switch again, and you either do the front or the aft, whatever one you didn't already use. 
and then you just take the negative and you ground it somewhere on your bike and that's it. Uh, it's really simple, but like I said, if you're an expert on canvas, go ahead and explain that to us and we'd really appreciate it. All right guys, so uh, we installed the oil filter on the adapter and then now what we're gonna do is we put this uh, protective uh, plastic protection over the wires and now we're gonna zip tie everything and uh, wrap it all up and leak check it and see where we're at after that. All right guys, so uh, we got it all hooked up last night but it was late so we didn't want to start the bike and let it idle at like 11 o'clock at night. So I'm gonna start it right now. We're gonna let it run for like a minute and then we're gonna check the hoses, uh, check the filter adapter and just make sure nothing's leaking. And then check the oil level. And then check the oil level. <laughs> All right guys, so we did a leak check. Um, we had a little bit of a leak between um, the adapter and the filter, or the adapter. So we took the filter off, tightened down the adapter bolts, and uh, re-leak checked it, let it run for probably about like three to five minutes, and uh, everything looks good. However, I do need to service the engine. So uh, you guys know that me and Lego, we rock Amsoil products, that's all we put in our bike. So I wanted to uh, go over this V-Twin oil change kit at Diesel Oil Guy, AKA Adrian sent this out to us. Um, so it comes with four quarts of 20W50, all right? And it comes with a filter, all right? So if you're looking to change the oil on your bike and you want to, uh, you want this kit, you gotta reach out to Adrian and he'll get you all set up. So he offers other products too, like we've said before in our other videos, you know, he's got a V-twin transmission oil and then he also has a V-twin primary uh, oil, all right? All right, so what I wanna talk about next was the preferred customer program through Amsoil. And how that works is you can get 25% off all retail products. You can get free shipping on any order over $100. But smaller orders, if you order just like something smaller, um, that's gonna be a $9.99 flat rate shipping fee. All right, this uh, program, is a $20 annual membership, all right? And you can join uh, using the link that we're gonna put in the description. Um, Amsoil does ship to Canada and they do use USPS. Uh, like I said, we're gonna put the link in the description. Uh, and if you're interested in this, we'll put everything in there so you can reach out to Adrian, AKA at Diesel Oil Guy, and he'll get you set up with anything you need, whether it's your car, your truck, your snowmobile, your motorcycle, whatever you want, uh, whatever application it is, he's got an oil for it. All right guys, so that's gonna do it for the Jag oil cooler install. I would rate this a 12 pack. Um, the reason being is you don't really need any specialty tools, but you do have to run a little bit of wire and uh, working on that oil filter adapter, uh, there's not a lot of space to get in there. So, um, you know, tightening down those screws and stuff can be a little difficult and tightening down the clamps on the hoses is a little difficult just because you don't have a lot of room to work. Um, but I'll, uh, I'll let you guys know how this oil cooler does. Um, I got a, Lego has his oil uh, dipstick with a temperature gauge on it. So I'm gonna be using that and I'm gonna see, you know, how cool the oil gets and how uh, cool my bike stays um, as I continue to ride it. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, check out um, at Diesel Oil Guy, Adrian. Uh, hit him up for any Amsoil products. And thank you for watching. And as always, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Thank